My name is Inspector John West. I was... Take your time, Mr. West. Deep breaths. You want a drink? Whiskey. Hold the rocks. <laughs> Hold the rocks? Hilarious, Mr. West. Fuck you. My name is Inspector John West. I was the officer in command on the Party Hard Killings. Can you describe to me exactly what the Party Hard Killings were? They were a series of murders strung across the U.S. during the autumn break of 2000, exclusively taking place in and around house parties, rooftop parties, cruise parties, you name it. This guy was there, stabbing his way through the crowds. And what was the motive, Mr. West? This guy... He just wanted some peace and quiet. Maybe you should start from the beginning, Inspector. It might give us a better idea of where this all went so wrong. Dance. One of my officers responded to a call near North Beach. It was the end of April, so typically a bunch of the college kids in the area were getting hammered instead of prepping for their finals. If only the stupid bastards knew. Yeah, what's that, wonder what?
<laughs> Can't you bastard? I think he sells me shit with me. That's good. Oh well. Dumpster people. <laughs> I 
over to the fire. You arrived at the scene after the assailant had fled, correct? A little after 3 a.m., yeah. Were you aware of his current mental state at the time, Mr. West? His mental state? His confusion, the blood dripping from his hands, like someone else was driving him forward, yet a bright light leading him onwards. I heard that bright light, as you so eloquently put it, was just a bunch of biker trash scumbags in search of lost souls. Guess he must have hitched a ride with them somehow. Perhaps it was when they realized that the party was already dead. Excuse the pun. Speaking of dead, wasn't your daughter Katie at that party, Mr. West? Seeing her blood zigzagging between those bathroom tiles, it was like a sledgehammer using my stomach as a welcome mat, drowning without water. Jesus. She was so messed up that I couldn't even ID the body. What's the way I want to know what? Hell, see, you don't know what can, but what I was did I want? Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, that was stupid. That was really, really stupid. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! Woohoo! Yahoo! Yeehaw! <laughs> 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 Oh, 
people go away <laughs> what's that what do I
Go, you only walk right past it, dumbass. after what happened with Katie. But let's just... after what happened with Katie. But let's just say it was keeping up to speed by other means. Once the ranch massacre happened, my colleagues were more than happy to unofficially keep me informed. It seemed obvious to me that this was just the beginning, and I had Las Vegas down as one of the contenders for the next attack. Of course, the problem is that Las Vegas is one hell of a landmass to keep a watchful eye over. The kicker is that he was spotted leaving the scene on a shuttle bus, Goddamn bus! So you're saying the perpetrator was calm even after what he'd just done? I'm saying this guy was a fucking psycho. Please, Mr. West, try to stay professional. <laughs> you're a funny guy. Either way, still don't know how he evaded the entire police force descending down on him. It was like the devil was on his side. Yeah. 
Bouncers! You not just like that?
What's it? Yeah, come this way. I got a dumpster to show you. Come oh. here. Isn't a pretty dumpster? Oh. Hold now. You want to see the dumpster? The Vegas killings were the ones that really threw this son of a bitch into the spotlight. That's when the papers started calling him the Party Hard Killer. Two massacres in one night. He had the gall to stalk the streets with cops all around him, sectioning off the city. And he'd simply pick another spot to call his killing ground. But, but you know, Mr. West, the city, this living, breathing organism doused in lights and scars, it can really bring feelings bubbling up to the surface for some people. Is that so? Why a roof party, then? It made no sense with his M.O. On the contrary, Mr. West, I'd suggest it made perfect sense, being so close to the sky, yet behaving like worms. Perhaps he felt that those people simply deserved to be back in the dirt where they belonged.
All right. Where the hell am I? Yeehaw! Yahoo! <laughs> oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> Yahoo! supposed to get past him. 